A warning tonight for drivers. The CHP says a fake police officer may be targeting women on local freeways. CBS 2's Rachel Kim is live in Downey with details on at least one attack. Rachel? Well, Rick, the CHP says this sexual assault happened here along the 105 freeway earlier this month on a busy afternoon around 2.30 p.m. They want your help identifying this police impersonator so this doesn't happen again. As a woman was recently driving along the eastbound 105 near Lakewood Boulevard, she pulled over after she saw who she thought was a police officer trying to get her attention. I would follow the law and I would absolutely uh, pull over. But the CHP says the man who signaled for the woman to stop was a fake. After he said he was going to search her, he touched her inappropriately. It's awful that someone would do that and I mean, we're just so defenseless out there. Now the CHP is looking for this sexual assault suspect. They say he was wearing a dark colored long sleeve uniform style shirt. It had shoulder patches, a silver star badge and a silver name tag. He had tan pants on and a black utility belt complete with a pistol and other gear. Show me your badge probably. The first thing I would do, identify yourself and the reasons uh, why you're stopping me. We're trusting that the person in that car dressed as, as a police officer is someone of the law. The fake cop was driving a black four-door, possibly a Ford Crown Victoria. It had red and blue emergency lights mounted inside on the rearview mirror. There was also a mounted spotlight near the driver's window, and some of the windows were tinted. The drivers we spoke to tonight told us they're going to be a lot more cautious and ask a lot more questions if they get pulled over. Just to figure out if it's a, a true cop or not. The CHP says if you're unsure, pull over in a safe area, a well-lit area like a parking lot. You can also ask for the officer's ID card, and if you still have doubts, you can request for a supervisor to respond. Again, if you have any information about that suspect, please call the CHP. Back to you in the studio. All right, Rachel. Now,